normally I would be super excited right now because we just hit another milestone on the YouTube channel, up to 900 subscribers, but I guarantee you, later today I'll check back and it'll be 899. Somebody will unsubscribe, that's just how it works. I'm jealous that everybody gets to go to Lena's game this morning. I'm at work for another hour or so and then I have to go film something with Brooke at the Cherville Animal Shelter, so I really, I'm not sure what it is, but how can you not enjoy filming animals? Slow-mo puppies? Come on, that's gonna be ideal. I don't know what, what, what I'm doing, I'm just excited about filming puppies in slow-mo. Okay, I'm gonna drive out to Cherville now. It smells really good out here. It can't possibly be the sewage treatment plant right across from where there are cute puppies, presumably. What are we doing? What are we filming? We are filming a promo. Okay. Uh, because I'm teaming up with Cherville Animal Control and Shelter to raise money for them because they're on a tight budget and they take in a lot of animals. So Can I film puppies in slow-mo? Because... I don't know if there will be puppies, but please film grown dogs and kittens in slow-mo. <laughs> Done. Thank you. Here are your signs. Just <sighs> wanted a document for Jeremy. Oh gosh, I gave them to her. <laughs> So yeah, we're getting the bathtub, but I just don't know like when to, I probably get But do, do we get to go in the chemical room? <laughs> you know, how am I supposed to not leave here with a cat? That's ridiculous. He like just, like, no, the jokes. Yeah. what your favorite part of working here is. Okay. And just be natural, because I know you guys are so passionate. Like, once you start talking about the animal, you guys never- I know mine, I'm not telling you. It's the- I feel like yours is my favorite part. Probably. Let's say that for you. One, two, three, adoption. Damn it! Yeah, this is like something out of Walking Dead or something back yeah, there. Yeah, right? Where do you guys find most of the animals that you guys end up caring for here? Uh, so typically strays on the street, um, so we take them in, try and find their owner. Um, if not, then we find them a new owner. What is the biggest issue that you guys face with dealing with the animals that you deal with? Probably abandonment. Yeah. The ones that are abandoned or neglected. Yeah. How many animals would you say that you guys have successfully rescued and had them get adopted since you've been here? Last year, I think we did 80 some adoptions. Wow. Yeah. I think it was around 80. That is, um, yeah, between cats and dogs. And yeah, I think it was around 80. So if somebody is thinking about adopting a pet from you guys, how can they contact you? They can call us or Facebook us. Okay. And our phone number is 219-865-6992. Okay, and what's your Facebook page? And our Facebook is Cherville Animal Control and Shelter. Awesome. So if you guys want to get information about what it takes to take a rescue animal and adopt them into your home, please call Angela and Erica and uh, let us know below if you guys have any questions or want to adopt one of these adorable little kittens. <laughs> Take me home. Okay. <laughs> I don't like talking. I don't either. like talking. None of that will be cut. We were live on Facebook. Cut it. Cut it. We were live on Facebook. No, I don't know how people do live videos. I'd be like, nope, not doing that. You getting that ball? Get that ball. Get it. Get that ball. <laughs>
to do a lip sync, but they haven't decided what song yet. <laughs> I feel like that's going to make it difficult to sync the, you know, lip sync the words. Um, because we overly honest. we are because we prefer them to stay in the home. I'm gonna tell you everything I know about this cat because we have a higher percentage <coughs> of them staying in a home versus them coming back. Not surprised yes. when you come home. Yes. Yeah. Even if we get a ton of items, if we have too many, too much items, um, we redonate everything out uh, to other needy shelters that are in desperate need of you know either food or blankets. So nothing goes to waste when people donate stuff here. If we can't use it, we spread the love. Thank you so much, Angela and Erica, for letting us come in here today and see all your little kittens and your dogs and just kind of find out how we can get involved and, and help out in our own community. <laughs> I'm just hanging out in the kennel area here. I, I don't know if it's called a kennel. I'm just, that's a term I've heard used in relation to animals before. Filming this video with Brooke and uh, they are finding a leash to put on the dog so that we can get the wild and crazy dog in said video. Slow-mo of crazy dog. I mean, come on, who doesn't want to see that? You, you want to see it. You, no, not you. Not you, because you do want to. Never mind. Just taking selfies, huh? Or, well, not selfies. Taking pictures of Brooke, huh? <laughs> Smoke monster too. Sorry, we just got really excited. <laughs> what are you doing? You're so mean, huh? Yeah, I'm so scared of you. You're super mean. I love how it's so sterile and you're like, I love you. He's very friendly. He's just got a lot of. Happy is to yeah, get that on. He's very happy. <laughs> he's always happy. <laughs> oh God, there's oh God, there's blood everywhere, Brooke. He's got happy tail. Watch out, he's got happy tail. You know what I was not expecting? Did you get blood splatter? There's on your blood glasses? splatter on my glasses. That's a little creepy, huh? So does that mean it's on my face? Oh my goodness. What are you guys doing in there? Just being cute kitties? What if it was like, what does it look like, like idiot? Yeah, he's like, what? <laughs> doing cat? It's so funny. <laughs> Jesus. Oh. You got blood all over me. It'll be fine. They tell me that I'll live. I'm not sure I believe them, but. Oh my God. Okay, we're gonna go lynch this chick. I don't know what's going on here, but everybody's getting really pissed and now I'm angry. What kind of unprofessional shit is this, Brooke? God. But I'm ready too. I feel like I'm just gonna hit that button. One of your moms was calling your phone. Hi, you guys. I'm Brooke Metz with Rossi and Taylor Realty Group. I'm here at Shareable Animal Control and Shelter. And I'm just coming out to you guys, letting you know that I'm pairing up with them to collect and raise money and donations for the animal shelter here in Shareville. Um, you can come out and see us at the National Night Out at Reader Park on August 7th. And if you guys are interested in making donations or adopting, please don't just stop by. Make sure you call them at 219-865-6992. And you can talk to them about what kind of donations you can bring by or what kind of animals they have here for you to adopt. Thank you so much. Were you holding your breath the whole time? Hi you guys, it's Brooke with Rossi and Taylor Realty Group here. I am a local realtor and I've decided because of my passion for helping out animals in need to team up with Angela and Erica here at Cherville Animal Control and Shelter. They are doing really great things in the town and saving tons of animals every year and helping to get them adopted. 
So come on in and let me tell you guys how you can help out. So the way our adoption works, uh, when someone comes to the shelter, they'll meet the animals. If they find one that they like, they'll, we'll have them fill out an adoption application. Um, once all that goes through, uh, the animal then goes up to the vet and gets either spayed and neutered. Um, all their shots are up to date, and they also get a microchip, which is like the number one way to get a, dog, a lost dog home. So That's we awesome. always make sure we microchip everybody. That's awesome. We did 67 adoptions last year. 12 rest, uh, were released to other shelters and rescues. Awesome. What's up, feral kitty? It is not mean. <laughs> okay, done filming in there. I'm going back to work. It's a gorgeous day. Wish there was something more entertaining to do, but alas, there is not. Uh, hi, this is Sam calling from the pharmacy. Am I talking to the business -ness? To the businessness? What? I missed what you said there. It, is that the business Yes, it is. All right, I'm sorry for bothering you, sir. Oh, okay. Th Thank you much. That's an exclusive for you. An exclusive for you. Hey, exclusive boy. You gotta keep it down here. Okay. That's part of your collection, and it's an exclusive, so he knows all about this. Oh, okay. This is Jenna. Oh, okay. So are you ever gonna release any of your card games? Yes. Uh, this card game is like on top for the moment, but I'm start making the first deck. And, and this is Super Rumble Part Two. No, this is this is a different series I made. Mm. My game. But you only have SuperRumble.com. Yeah, but we can, we can combine the two websites so SawyerTCGs.com. So Sawyer what? SawyerTCGsPicard.com mm -hmm. What's up, Sawyer? I went to Lena's game and it was so fun. It was pretty, uh, boring. But you I, just said it was so fun. So was it so fun or was it boring? It was, most of it was boring, but well, some of it was fun. Okay. Uh, Which part was fun? The, the part where I, had, I played with someone. Are you talking to people online? That's right, Queen Barrel. Oh my god. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. You're so cool. I'm asking I'm gonna ask you to have him on this friend as a friend. Because your guys are so cool. Then you have to tell an adult. Right? Okay, but sometimes uh Sometimes you tell an adult and the adult says, don't be tattered. Right? Is that what you were going to say? No, but it's a good thought, right? Oh, second here? Oh, hi. <laughs> you got some war paint on your face. Is your mascara running? Did you cry when you lost? So yes, coming? here's her name in case you didn't know who this is. Oh, okay. That's Henderson. That's Hender daughter. <laughs> Why are all the last names that are like that? Uh, son, like yeah, Henderson, Hillman. Because like, men are more never common. Hill woman or Hender daughter or Hill girl. We hill said that. Girl. We said that one yeah. yesterday. Put the brown on you. Black. Okay, I'm gonna name you all the positions I played today. So pitcher, first base. Pitcher, first base, third, short, second, center, and then catcher. Nice. <laughs> Why were they rotating? No, because people didn't know what they were doing. More than half, like, literally every single girl did not know what they were doing. 
I swear if you're zooming in on my face yeah. and I'm getting all serious. So <laughs> Make sure you post it on social media so all of her friends can be mad at her. Mm. I got two double plays today in the second game. First one, girl, I literally wake, was lying dry right over my head and went, boom, caught it. And then I whipped it to first because the girl ran nice. off the first. And there was another one when I was pitching. A girl bunted and I like dove I, on the ground and caught it because it went up in the air. And then I got up and like on my butt and whipped it to second because the girl ran to third. Mm -hmm. Remind me in a year to do this for real. Within a year to do this for real. Welcome to my house. And if I can picture this correctly, I'm gonna walk in the front door right here. Okay, we're walking in there. I don't know which way it's gonna open. And then, oh, look at this, this is Jen's studio. And then over here to the right, you'll see a closet and then the steps going up to Jen and my level and then down to the kids level there. And back through there, you can see the living room. Oh, on the left here, we have the bathroom, the guest bathroom, main level. Okay, we're in the living room and there's the TV set up. And then panning over this way, you'll see the couch, you'll see the kitchen table, you'll see the kitchen down at the other end. And I don't know what else is gonna be there, but I imagine some stuff. Okay, so we're walking through and then we're gonna go out into the garage. I think we'll be about here. Yep. Oh, we're in. The, uh, we're definitely in the garage now. And this is the view out the front of the garage. This is slightly different. Huh. Wow. I mean, that makes a bit of a difference. It's like a whole nother room there that didn't exist before. Hi, Maddie's room. Out. Came out on the deck here to hang out with Jeremy for a little bit, and he thought we were just going to hang out and not open up the umbrella. Get to fucking open in. Right. Want the full experience. Don't hit me with it. Jeez. Don't hit me with it. All right. There it is. Like the, Did we get the, the lights, wing. too? Huh? Did we get the lights, too? I call this the dragon wing. <laughs> the dragon wing. <laughs> it sort of looks like it. Which, are what's, they... what's that, Sam? I can't hear you over the dog barking. There are a lot of them are 84, 85 percent. But you know, I want to talk fucking... I would get it for him. Sitting out on the porch editing, and it smells like manure out here. Like there's a circus in town, or not a circus, a fair. The fair's not here for a few days, so I don't understand why it stinks so bad out here. But I'm out here editing, working on this wedding for Wes. Well, actually for Adam and Carmen, but also Wes. And... Uh, yeah, downloading Harry Potter. Gonna try to watch the first movie with the kids tonight. No, I've not seen them yet. I think maybe I've seen the first movie, so I'm probably gonna have to tough it out watching it again, but maybe it won't suck. Uh, everybody loves it, so what the hell. So I'm just sitting around doing nothing, and I see uh, a post from somebody up at Local 219, and I'm like, shit, that was tonight, wasn't it? So I'm going up there now because I'm an asshole and totally forgot. <laughs> Welcome to the local 209 party. We're, I'm drunk. He's not yet. He's drinking. I rode my scooter here. I probably should. Dude, you can, scoot, you can scoot. You can scoot. Drink. Drink and scoot. I could do that when I was 16. I not much guys. anymore. See you guys. I feel like I may have reached the point where I've outgrown parties. Is that a thing that people say and do? Dude, I was like, listen, 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 it's not like it's not like it's video, it's photo. People are gonna hear it. Video. Yeah, but and hey, listen, watch listen, this. listen here, listen here. They won't, but they could. <laughs> My name's Mike Kristen, I do photos, I do video, hit me up. Okay, this isn't a fucking promo. It's a fucking promo. It's not a promo. 
I haven't mentioned yet, Alan hired a psychic and he's in there getting a reading at the moment and Mike's talking about doing a group reading, but I don't think they're going to do that. What do you think, Mike? You going in? Oh, you are? What, what, what did the psychic tell you? I've already been in. The psych, we want to know what the psychic told me? Yes. The psychic tell me told me to things. take a full time job at Local 209 and be more appreciative of this girl right here. That's literally what she told me. I think he did. Yeah. That seems like Alan definitely hired her and <laughs> tell you very specific make sure, things. Make sure Slater make sure, stays here. <laughs> make sure he stays on task. That's and, exactly what happened. Yeah, she, actually, you know, come to think of what she said, make sure this next video is really good. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, that's too specific. She's like, remember when you went around to those towns? Make sure... <laughs> Apparently there's some real shit going on. Yeah. What's that? How was that? Was crazy. Oh, yeah. Were you yeah. getting your first yeah. for like an hour? That does sound crazy, actually. <laughs> How crazy was it? Dude, dude. <laughs> Okay. Good man. It was fucking we, crazy. We wanted to go in there as a team. Well, apparently the Dillinger jail that Joel backed out of really fucked me up. So thank you for that. <laughs> <laughs> now I've got to go and like get the, get rid of this shit. Get rid of this shit. You hear this guy? This is my new favorite show. I'm just gonna follow Alan around while he fucking believes in ghosts. Okay. When do you tell Mike when he's done taking pictures that he's got to clean it out for him? <laughs> well, fuck you in that jail, Josh. <laughs> fuck that muscle tonight. Fuck you in that jail. It was his idea. No, I'm no mathematician or anything, but I feel like there should be a caution left floor sign at the top of these steps. And caution left step sign. So, I'm going to report that to the authorities immediately. So I'm standing here outside and I can't help myself but want to go check out the, the Crown Theater. But it is clearly boarded up and I don't really see any way in. But I'm still going to check it out. And it's super dark, I don't have any lighting. Yeah, completely boarded up. Hey, you Joe, before you get out of here, because I know your name and totally know who you are. Um, <laughs> do you have any theories on who puked on the stairs? Who puked on the stairs? Yeah. No, I showed up right when someone slipped on the puke on the stairs. Somebody slipped on the puke? Someone slipped on the puke. I feel like he needs to have some sort of a caution wet floor sign up there. What do you think? There should be like an orange cone. It seems like that would be the responsible thing to do, but that's not Alan. Nobody responsible wears that outfit. Nobody responsible wears that. Joel told us to don't ever. Don't ever. See the tarot cards, they're like, oh, I'm like confident you'll be okay. I read it on my palm. Do you feel better now? No, because you don't speak with enough conviction. I'm positive you'll be alright. <laughs> <laughs> That's better, but I still don't believe it because I don't feel like you ever Well, I'm before. smirking a little bit just because I'm high, but. <laughs> it's your hair. Hey, we can, break out, the weed. Hair. We can break out the weed now, right? That's the greatest thing ever. It's gotta be candid. Just talk. Just talk. Just fucking hug you. Oh, hold on. I'm just coming in. Give me your shit. Get the fuck out of here. Oh, yeah. I just popped out here for a second. They have no idea how loud they are out here. You can hear every piece of conversation. Right? Am I wrong? 
Sitting on the corner of the street by the high school. It's nice out here. Just driving home. You digging that? Are we enjoying this? I can't tell. I'm moving you around quite a bit. You, you liking this stuff? Well, he was mad, you can tell. Enjoying the water. Feet, pal. Feet. All these memories in my mind, my mind, my mind, my mind, my mind, my mind. I'm still a secret lemonade drinker. Drink.